Good morning, class. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that's not often discussed in traditional academic subjects, but is just as important, if not more so, value education. Miss Carla, what exactly is value education? Great question, Damien. Value education is a holistic and lifelong learning process that teaches values, morals, and ethics to individuals. It helps us understand the difference between right and wrong and guides us in making responsible choices in our lives. So, why is it important? Value education is crucial because it shapes our character and personality. It helps us become compassionate, responsible, and ethical individuals. It's not just about what we learn in books. It's about how we apply those lessons in our daily lives. Can you give us an example of how it works? Of course. Let's take the value of honesty as an example. In value education, we learn that being honest means telling the truth even when it's difficult or inconvenient. So, in our daily lives, if we make a mistake and admit it, even if we might face consequences, we're practicing honesty. Miss Carla, do our values change as we grow older? Another thoughtful question, yes, our values can evolve over time. They're influenced by our experiences, culture, and the people around us. For instance, when we are young, we may value material possessions, but as we grow older, we might come to value relationships and personal growth more. Can we learn values only in school, or do we learn them at home too? Values are taught both at home and in school. Your family plays a significant role in instilling values in you, while school reinforces and expands upon those lessons. Together, they shape your values and help you become a well-rounded individual. What happens if someone doesn't learn values? Excellent question. When individuals don't learn values, they may find it challenging to make good decisions, build healthy relationships, and contribute positively to society. Values are like a moral compass that guides us through life's challenges. Miss Carla, can values be different for different people? Absolutely, Damien. Values can vary from person to person and from culture to culture. What's important is to respect and appreciate the diversity of values while also recognizing the universal values that promote goodness, like kindness, compassion, and honesty. How can we practice values in our daily lives? To practice values, you can start by setting personal goals and making a conscious effort to live by them. For example, if you value kindness, you can practice acts of kindness every day, like helping a friend in need or being polite to others. Is it possible to change our values if we want to? Insightful question. While our core values may remain relatively stable, we can certainly evolve and adapt our values over time. Life experiences, self-reflection, and exposure to different perspectives can all influence our values. So, yes, it's possible to change them if we want to. Miss Carla, do values change with different stages of life, like childhood, adolescence, and adulthood? You're really diving deep into this topic, Damien. Yes, values can indeed evolve as we pass through different stages of life. For example, as children, we may place a high value on fun and play, but as we grow into adults, we might prioritize responsibilities and career ambitions. In conclusion, value education is not just about what you learn, it's about how you live your life, and the impact you have on the world around you. It's a journey of self-discovery, and growth, and it's never too early, or, too late to start. Remember, the choices you make based on your values, can shape the kind of person, you become. Good morning, class. I hope you all remember our previous discussion on value education. Today, we'll delve deeper into this vital subject, exploring different aspects of values and their significance in our lives. Miss Carla, before we start, can you recap what we discussed last time? Of course, Fred. In our last lecture, we discussed that value education is a lifelong learning process that teaches us morals, ethics, and values to guide us in making responsible choices. We also talked about how values can vary among individuals and cultures, 
and how they can change as we grow and learn. Thank you, Miss Carla. Please continue. You're welcome, Fred. Now, let's dive deeper into the concept of values. Values are the principles or standards that guide our behavior and decisions. They serve as a compass, helping us navigate life's complexities. There are many different values, but today, I want to focus on a few key ones. Number 1, Empathy. One of the most essential values is empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. When we practice empathy, we are better equipped to build strong relationships, resolve conflicts, and create a more compassionate world. Number 2, Justice. Justice is another crucial value. It's about fairness and equality. When we value justice, we strive to ensure that everyone is treated fairly and that there is equality in opportunities and access to resources. Number 3, Resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from adversity and challenges. It's the value that helps us stay strong in the face of setbacks and keep moving forward. It teaches us that failure is not the end but an opportunity for growth. Another is, Integrity. Integrity is about being honest and having strong moral principles. It's doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. Integrity is the foundation of trust and credibility. Miss Carla, how do we develop these values? Great question, Fred. Developing these values takes time and effort. Here are some ways to cultivate them. Self-reflection, take time to think about your values and what matters most to you. Self-awareness is the first step in developing strong values. Role models, look up to people who embody the values you admire. Learn from their actions and decisions. Practice, actively practice these values in your daily life. Show empathy by listening to others. Be fair in your interactions, persevere in the face of challenges, and always act with honesty. Conversations, engage in discussions with your family, friends, and teachers about values. Sharing and discussing different perspectives can help clarify your own values. Learning, read books, watch documentaries, or attend workshops that focus on values and ethics. Continuous learning can deepen your understanding of these concepts. Miss Carla. Can you share a personal experience related to values? Of course, Fred. I remember a time when I faced a difficult decision in my career. I had to choose between a higher paying job that required me to compromise on my values and a lower paying job that aligned with my principles. I chose the latter because I realized that maintaining my integrity and staying true to my values was more important than financial gain. That decision has shaped my career and life in a positive way. Thank you, Miss Carla. That was very insightful. Remember, values aren't just abstract concepts. They guide us in real-life situations. They help us make decisions that reflect our true selves and contribute to a better society. As you continue to grow and learn, I encourage you all to embrace and practice these values in your daily lives. Thank you for your active participation, and I look forward to our next discussion on value education.